And gentlemen, we are now live, and look at this, look at this, Rodney, starting off the show, 100 plus people in the stream, and it looks like it is all due to the pork community, and we got our guy Paulie in the chat, he has requested to speak, let's get him up here, the legend, Paulie OX. Yeah, oh my this? god, pork community in the house, coming in strong, my goodness, what's up babies? What is going on? What's up, Polly? How you doing, man? Nice to finally yo yo Jake. Thanks man. for having me. Thanks for having me in, Rodney. What's up, fellas? I just um I'm in between engagements here, and I saw that you opened up this space, so I just want to come say hello. And I also want to thank you, Jake. Um, I really appreciate the content that you created about pond and pork. Uh, must, must have been like about a month ago now, uh, yeah. maybe a maybe a few weeks, but. Dude, you're the only person, um, you know, one of few people, I shouldn't say. There's a couple other people that have made some great content, but you're one of the few that has really given us um, some some reasonable uh, exposure and, and given us, like, a fair sort of description and overview, and I just really appreciate that. And, um, you know, a lot of people want to... It's a competitive market, so a lot of people want to try to hide narratives and hide events and hide uh, data from people. And so I just want to tell you, I, I like what you do, and I appreciate that. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I've been... I've been following you. Uh, I got in because of some of your Pepe calls early on, and I've been following your you on uh, online. And yeah, I make content that I I just make content. Look, if a token's doing good and, and does good things, I make good content. If it does shitty, I make shitty content. When you guys launched, it was one of the most impressive launches. I think you ran all the way up to like a three hundred fifty million dollar market cap. Uh, flip Pepe and are still holding strong at a, at a two hundred million dollar market cap. So yeah, you guys, you know, you got to give flowers when they're doing. You guys have been doing a great job. Even pond pond docs. You know, I think I looked recently like 375,000 plus swaps on there. Uh, you guys are doing great things in the space. And, you know, I love what you're doing online. I, whenever Thank I go you. online, you're the first one that pops up on my feed. And uh, I think, I think what's important, you know, a lot of developers, they might understand crypto. They might understand, you know, the blockchain, but it's like, you understand crypto, you understand how to build and you definitely understand meme culture and how to go viral. So that's, that's, that's why I think your project is having a ton of success and obviously a great community as well. Thank you. Yeah, you know, look, I don't want to. I don't want to make this about me at all. I wanted to just come in and say hi and thank you for what you've done as well. And um, you know, it's a really exciting time in the market in general. And I think that there's a lot of interesting opportunities in places. I do feel that we bring something that's unique to the table. Um, but you know, we we have a really amazing core community, and we do big spaces every day. So you know, I don't want to like uh, I don't want to interfere with whatever you have going on here. I'm just glad to be here, and um, you know, I just want to say what's up and give you guys props and. Um, I'm just really excited about everything that's happening in the market in general. And I mean, it couldn't be a better time to be uh, a passionate uh, sort of researcher and um, speculator of meme coins specifically, because I think the market continues to show over and over again that memes uh, are at the forefront of what's going on here. And ironically, so much of this other stuff might as well be a meme coin anyway, because they're not fucking making products, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Exactly. 100%. And while we have you here, I would love if you have five minutes, I, I just want because there's obviously a lot of people from your community that joined. I mean, not many people can join a space and bring 700 plus people with them. So kudos to you. But for some of our other listeners, do you mind just giving us a brief rundown? Maybe they're not familiar with pork and, and pond docs and just like a brief, maybe minute speech yeah. or pitch. Yeah. Of what you guys are doing. My, my time is pretty limited right now, but I'll try to make it brief. Three minutes and, is perfect. Yeah. I mean, if I can stay longer, I will. I just don't know when I'm going to have to jump. But basically, yep. in, in the simplest terms possible, Pond Zero X is our ecosystem, and it central, centralizes around, um, it, it, it revolves around a decentralized exchange, right? It's funny word to say centralized, but we're a decentralized exchange, and I call the model that we've invented Crypto 2.0, and it's basically just a, re, a sort of a reorganization of the existing crypto model, which I believe unfairly incentivizes venture capitalists and influencers and, you know, a small group of people as opposed to incentivizing the most important group, which is the users and the, the retail people, right? Because we are the driving force in this, in this entire movement becoming more global and more large. And so I think that we need to really adjust the alignment of incentives across this entire industry so that everyone can benefit more, right? The VCs are always going to eat, but we need to eat too. And, you know, even if we're content creators and artists and traders, whatever it is that we do, I think that the small guy in crypto needs to be taken more seriously. So that's sort of the core ideology of Pond. And Pork, uh, also known as Pepe Fork, is uh, a top 15, I believe, meme coin in the world right now. As you mentioned, we launched it and it flipped Pepe within 62 hours or so, which is unbelievable and remarkable. And essentially, my thesis is, is very straightforward. I think that Pepe has already proven that it's like, you know, at the absolute top of, of meme culture. That, that's undeniable, but it's also at the top of the meme coin charts now, number three in the world. 
And my vision is that, you know, just like we have Shiba Inu to a Dogecoin, I see no reason that Fork is not going to just absolutely solidify itself as the sort of shib to the Doge at minimum, if not going back for that number one spot and flipping Pepe again, potentially. So I think that both of those things are, are very much um, an inevitability that will challenge Pepe for that spot again. Um, but, you know, I just think that in terms of fundamentals, like a lot of people knew about Pepe early on and they missed it for different reasons. A lot of people knew about Pepe during the sort of the cool down and accumulation period and they missed it. And, you know, people, people do want the next best thing and people do want a second opportunity and I think that the, the sort of shib, doge, pepe, pork thesis is very straightforward. It's very easy for people to understand. And the most important thing that we have going in our favor is, like you see here, uh, Jake and Rodney, when we pull up, there's instantly, you know, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 people that want to hear what we're doing. And that is incredibly unusual. And, you know, this is an environment that revolves around the social layer, especially when it comes to meme coins. And um, they're very community-driven. And so what I believe is that if you look at the numbers, the numbers uh, are un undeniably compelling. We're already in over 100 countries. We're 44 days old. We're coming up on $650 million in DEX volume. We're working on solidifying partnerships with the top tier market makers and tier one exchanges in the industry. And I already have the network to do so, but it's a busy time in the market. People are, you know, eyes all over the place. And um, it's not like when Pepe happened, when it was the only thing going on in all of crypto. Now it's a full on bull. We're at Bitcoin, you know, all time high every day. It seems like ETH is just under its all time high. And so it's just, there's so much going on in the market. There's so much opportunity across the board. And I just think that pork is, is headed for the top. And um, we've already had some incredible success. And I'm just here to continue to deliver value to the community. And um, I think that this is going to catch a lot of people off guard. Uh, because, you know, a lot of the mainstream influencers, they already are sort of committed to promoting other projects. And they don't want to talk about this. They don't want to talk about the fact that we flipped Pepe within 62 hours. They don't want to talk about the fact that Pond has already distributed almost $30 million in, in actual crypto rewards to the community. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before these things start to sort of just fall into place. And I think that the, the mainstream market is going to have to accept the fact that this is a, an unstoppable force to be reckoned with. And that's, uh, that's my high conviction thesis. And one of the most important things about Pork and Pond is that the team does not hold any tokens, which is incredibly unusual. But, you know, I think that if you just say, oh, the team holds no tokens, that sounds scammy and it sounds sketchy because you say well what's in it for the team where's the alignment of incentives there well because we actually build working infrastructure because pond has already done you know a well over 600 million dollars worth of worth of dex volume on chain in the last 190 days or so the way that we incentivize ourselves is that we build working infrastructure that people actually use and so we don't need to worry about selling tokens and dumping on the community because we have a totally different model and a totally different vision that is only possible if you can actually execute on a technical level. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. And, um, you know, I really appreciate you guys having me and hopefully the community will stick around and you guys can have like the conversation. Um, but if there's any other quick things that you guys had for me, I'm probably going to jump in just like a minute or so here. Yeah, just a comment, Paul. You know, in, in this space, I think fair is fair. And it doesn't matter how you feel about a person. You can cock ride him, you can hate him, whatever, but facts, you know, and numbers don't lie. I mean, there was a time, you know, just a month ago, uh, you know, whenever Pork launched, where Solana meme coins were dominating, and literally there were zero ERC-20 tokens doing anything. So for you guys to hit the market, you know, flip Pepe and have more liquidity, which is fucking wild, is insane. Um, and I think that with the whole Pepe situation with all the, you know, the devs selling tokens, you know, that DJ Harambe guy blocked me and stuff like that, all that shadiness that went down. I think it's important to see those things and for people to understand those things. And it doesn't matter how you feel about Pepe or pork. I mean, facts are facts, you know, so just kudos to you guys. Not a big cock rider, you know what I mean? But it's good to see you guys in the space, uh, you know, actually bringing the community back to community tokens. And that's what's fucking about in the meme coin space. They're community tokens first. I, I agree with you 100%, and I do have to jump right now, but the last thing I want to mention is that we are also working on our own layer two. The testnet is live. There's a ton of activity on the testnet, and um, obviously because of the conditions on ETH mainnet, uh, the layer two becomes incredibly valuable to the average user who cannot afford these $100 gas transaction fees. So 
I look forward to coming back and joining you guys when I have a proper amount of time set aside. But I just saw this going on, and I just wanted to jump in and tell you guys thanks, and I really appreciate the time. So yeah, thank you, Josh. Uh, Jake, and, Jake uh, and Rodney, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for the kind of words. Thanks for stopping in, and we'll get some more uh, content, some more videos. Yeah. How about yeah, you pretty soon? Yeah, let's keep talking, and we'll, we'll collab, I have a feeling. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay. Thanks for coming Peace. in. Peace out, guys. Thank you. All right, brother. Awesome. Well, what a good way to start the space. Paulie, the legend. Yeah, I've been following him for a and, and like I said, he's... He's one of the, the funniest guys on crypto. You know, he's he's just viral. Everything he tweets is hilarious. It's viral. And I think that's one of the reasons that his project has, has done so well. But it's numbers don't lie in the crypto space. I mean, to launch a project and within, what do you say, 72? I think he says 68 hours to flip yeah. Pepe, which is now the number three meme coin in the world, is wild. Pondox, which is Pond Zero X, I believe it is now. I've been calling it Pondox. 377,000 transactions. You know how wild it is? Brody, yeah. that's 377,000 different swaps that have happened on his decentralized exchange that is, I believe it's less than a year old. It's nuts. And consistency is king in the space. And I mean, this guy is posting all the time engagements absolutely through the roof. And it doesn't matter what you, what you, what your feelings are. You know, numbers don't lie. You know, and I think in this space, we have to understand that, you know, when someone puts out a token, literally an ERC-20 token, when Solana meme coins are just dominating and it does those numbers, it actually flips Pepe. You got to put some respect on the name. So shout out to Polly, shout out to the port community. Um, you know, we're big fans of meme coins. And I know me and Jake were covering it like literally minute by minute, right when it flipped Pepe. You know, if you were following us, you knew exactly what was going down. So shout out to the port community. And you better believe if, he if there's another token he launches, I'm in, baby. I'm going in hard. Yeah, I mean, he just said he, they're building a layer too, but I, I'm even going hard on, on Pork as well. I mean, yeah. it's, look, it's a $200 million mark out today, which people might look at $200 million and be like, yeah, $200 million, it's high, but it's really not. $200 million is not high compared to where these tokens go. And I actually like the way, you know, at first he was, probably was kind of not shitting on Pepe, but he was calling it out. And look, he, he was calling it out for every reason. I mean, there was devs, rogue yeah. devs apparently, that logged in to the multi-sig. They dumped like thirty. They dumped sixteen trillion worth of Pepe, which yeah. was worth thirteen million dollars at the time. Ronnie, that would be worth over a uh, hundred thirty million dollars. Well, if they would have just dumped today, so those devs obviously have no idea what they're doing. But he's—I think he's doing everything right with with strategy. You know, he's giving props to Pepe and saying, "Hey, this this token should be at five billion dollars. It will probably be at ten billion dollars." Uh, but I also think that he's doing everything right with the strategy and the marketing because Pork will probably follow suit as well here in twenty twenty four. Yeah, you know, Pepe's doing big numbers, it's doing big things, and I think it was a trendsetter in the space, but facts are facts, and the truth is, a lot of these devs are docs, one of the devs blocked me for me asking a question, which is crazy, um, and uh, the truth is, you know, no one knows who sold those tokens, and no one knows if that person's still involved with the project, since they're not technically docs, so, I mean, there's a lot of questions and concerns still, I mean, they're doing big numbers, so kudos to them, hats off to them, but I mean, that happened, you know what I mean, you can't, you can't, ignore, you can't ignore that fact, so... I love it, man. I'm here, and I'm interested to see what this Layer 2 is going to do. You know, Especially with that uh, Ethereum upgrade, it's going to definitely help uh, Layer 2s in the space. I like it, honestly. I just became... Look, I, I liked Port before. I like it even more now. And uh, the fact that Paul came in here... Yeah, I mean, he didn't, he didn't have too much time to come in here, but he comes in here, takes his time, and like look at the community that follows him. I mean, just, just look at the writing on the wall, right? The guy built a, a launched a project that flipped Pepe. Like, didn't, nice. didn't flip some shitty like $50 million or $20 million mark cap. It flipped Pepe. It flipped Pepe in 68 hours. Uh, he has another token, Pond Zero X. He has a decentralized ecosystem. And he has, and people take this the wrong way. He has a cult like community. That's a great thing to have a cult like following, like people that support him and love him and respect him. He has a, he has a passionate uh, community in the poor community. And dude, I, I like it. I, I think well, as soon as the stream ends, Rodney, you're going to see a nice green candle in the, the pork chart because, <laughs> oh, no, really? no, because this is like, and he, he mentioned it well. He's like, look, He's like, this is the time, you know, like we're Bitcoin's at an all time high. This is when memes are going to start to fly. Uh, look, I, I really, I'm, I'm being honest. Like pork is at a $200 million market cap. If Polly keeps doing what he's doing, keeps building, uh, the markets keep sending as they are. The community stays strong, which the community is incredibly strong. Why, why can't this get to 2 billion? Why can't this get to $20 billion market cap? Are we going to see pork flip Pepe again? Is there going to be another flipping? Honestly, I would like to be, uh, to join, not join the team. I would like to, to join the movement in, cre in creating that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because, I would like to, because it's fun. You know, I, I own Pepe too. Uh, I don't own any pork yet, but I mean, regardless, I think competition's good in cryptocurrency. Like we saw with Dogecoin, like we saw with Shiba Inu, right? Dogecoin's still at the top. Shiba Inu's up there as well. Why can't it be Pepe and pork? I think that's what the team is pushing for. I think that's what the community is pushing for. I don't even think that Polly wants to kill Pepe. I, I think he, he wants it to survive. I think he wants it to do well. I think it's good for crypto space. It's good for memes. Yeah. But I think he wants to compete 
and possibly flip it again. And uh, the fact that they did it, I mean, the fact that they did it once, Rodney, shows that it's possible and that it could be done again. Absolutely. And the two biggest things we talk about when it comes to meme coins are so important. One is community. That's obviously that's big, strong community. But two is a fucking developer that's leading the charge. I mean, how many times do we hear that same old story? Dev left the project, run the project, his community took over. And this guy's literally on X all day, every day, it seems. I don't know if he even sleeps and is engaged in the community. doesn't matter if you like him. doesn't matter how you feel. At the end of the day, he's leading this project to victory. Um, you know, and uh, being a good leader and, uh, you know, having a strong community. And look at cults and communities. Strong communities are important in meme coins. That'll make you some money, baby. So I'm it's here for it. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. It's, a, it's a bad thing. It's like, you know, Hex is a cult-like community and Hex is still a multi-billion project. Uh, there's a lot of cult-like communities out there. And, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but I think for Pork, it is good. So the title of the show is How to Find the Next thousand x well okay, all you have to do is click that follow button on Polly, and i think you got it right there <laughs> <laughs> if he launches another one i'm in baby um but i mean that, that there it is right there right what are the what are the, some of the things we talk about when finding a next thousand x one is a developer that can get shit done and yep. two is a strong cult like community um rest in peace to richard hart and hex i think they're probably done here we'll see um but that those are two big things and i know a lot of people like they say hey the community takeover is a thing you know dev left the project but i can't see a project surviving without a dev that's leading the charge i mean it helps right like even oh, even yeah. Vitalik, like Vitalik, he, he doesn't tweet too much but look at ethereum right i mean bitcoin has satoshi nakamoto he's kind of rogue and anonymous but bitcoin's kind of been doing its own thing uh cardano has has richard hart or excuse me, Cardano has Charles Hoskinson. Uh, Solana has some. Solana has some pretty base developers, honestly. Yeah, uh, Anatoly, I like the guy. Like he's he's all about meme coin culture and retweeting and you know commenting. Even Brian Armstrong on base is now like retweeting and commenting and and replying to projects that are uh, merging over and getting listed on the on the base blockchain. So yeah, it's all about. I like docs. Uh, I like undocs developers. I like yep. the anonymous n- anonymous aspect. But when you have a guy. Let's just use Polly because, you know, recency, he was just in here. When you have a guy like Polly that's doing daily spaces, he said they're doing daily spaces, uh, updating the community, actually building. It's like that gives investors some some peace of mind. It's almost like Elon Musk, like with Tesla and SpaceX uh, and all of his other companies, the boring company, do as well if Elon Musk was not the helm. The answer is no. Yeah. The answer is no. Yeah, I, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, crypto, cryptocurrency is a volatile, weird space, especially meme coins, right? It's a strange space. Yeah. Um, but even do the hard times, even if the price is down, even if you're down 50%, whatever you're down, you know, you need someone to show up and hold spaces and keep the community updated and keep the, uh, you could say hope alive and keep the, 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 the hype alive, right? Because a lot of meme coins, I mean, they get to this point and they literally just stop posting. They stop engaging. They stop holding live spaces, waiting for the market conditions to get better when you have to be attacking it every single minute, you know? Absolutely. I'm looking at the pork chart, Rodney. It launched on January 30th, yeah, which is a month in change right six weeks ago and it's sitting at a 212 million dollar mark cap not bad the token already has thirty one thousand holders yeah yeah i think i think he i think he said it right people are sleeping on pork and a lot of the content creators aren't making content about pork. i don't know why i mean i made a video about pork because it it almost like i think the day i i made it it was like on day two of the launch and it was at a 300 million dollar mark cap and i made a video about Hey, this could potentially flip Pepe, right? It was at a three hundred million dollar cap. I think Pepe was at a three fifty at the time. I talked about Pond Docs. I talked about the leader, the developer, uh, who was Polly. And yeah, I mean, it's like you—you you have to, you shouldn't be biased as a content creator. You know, you shouldn't only talk about projects that you own and that you have bags of. Like that's—I think that's wrong in the crypto space. It's like if a project's doing well and they're building, give them their flowers, even if you don't own any. Like I don't yeah. own any pork yet. As soon as the stream ends, guys, that, that's going to change. I will be a holder, and yeah, I want to. I want to join the community because it's a. It, it really is a strong, strong, strong community. There's not many developers besides the massive names in the space, like Vitalik or Richard Hart or Charles Hoskinson, where they hop on a space impromptu. I, I'm not in the Telegram. I don't know if they said, "Hey, I'm hopping the space." I don't know if he tweeted about it, but impromptu hops on the space. And I was watching the people that were joining the space. It went from 100 to 300 to 500, over a thousand people that want to hear him talk. And that's what he said. He's like, people are in this community because they support us and they want to hear what updates that we have. Uh, so I like it. I'm going to be joining. And uh, I think the community is as well, guys. So shout out to the poor community, guys. Stay with us this stream. And you might be seeing, I think I need to change. You know what? You see my purple background right now, Rodney? I guess it's kind of pink. There's you a little bit of pink. No, that's purple, bro. Don't you, don't you try to. Don't what about the top right corner? <laughs> okay, that's a little pink. Yeah, so I'm already I'm already kind of in, right? I'm kind I'm kind of in it, but I, I might have to change the background. 
uh, cool. to pink and maybe post an updated picture because I don't have a beard or that haircut anymore. So I might need to post an updated picture here and uh, <laughs> and join it. But yeah, man, I, I'm I'm impressed by what they're building, and I'm being honest. I am being honest. Like this is this is coming from someone that owns zero pork right now, but. This is coming from someone that's been in the main coin space since 2020. So this is my fourth year in this space. And I saw what worked in 2020 and 2021 with Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and Saitama and Floki and all these other tokens that, that went parabolic. I saw what worked in 2023 and 2024. And I, I don't think that there's anything that Pork is really missing. I mean, they're actually building. He said that the team owns zero tokens, which I actually like more because you don't have to worry about the bad shit that comes with devs dumping yep. and, the, and the bad press that comes with it. And you got you got a developer that's not going anywhere, a developer that understands meme culture and virality, which I think is important because and we can segue now off Pork, but just talking about tokens right now uh, that don't update their their Twitter feeds, right? Like we can talk even we can switch to Pepe. Uh, but Pepe, I, th I really think one of the reasons that Pepe did so well in 2023, the summer of 2023, is how active they were They were on Twitter. I mean, every morning you saw a good morning picture with Pepe drinking it. You saw Pepe memes. You saw them doing work and bridging the different chains. Being active on Twitter is one of the most important things that you can do as a community. The most important thing that you can do as a community. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to go back to the porks, the coverage. Like, if you're not cover if you weren't covering pork when it was sending, you're just a fucking hater. Like, really, if you're if you're a cryptocurrency person or a meme coin person, and you're not covering that, either you're a hater or you're just out of the loop and you're not doing enough research. Because that was literally the most exciting thing when it comes to the Ethereum blockchain for a while. So there's my two cents on that. Um, but yeah, dude, you have to be active. It, DJ, arguably X is the most important platform when it comes to cryptocurrency news, right? We get all of our news here. I mean, there's TikTok, there's other places, whatever. But when it comes to news. Real time, right when it happens, um, from other sources, like it is X. Sometimes it's fake news. Shout out to, uh, I think it was Coin Telegraph, you know, and the whole SEC thing, or the SEC getting hacked, you know. But this is the number one spot. And you're right. During the bear market, even though Pepe's doing well right now, they, uh, they stopped uh, tweeting and stopped posting. And the only time they posted was when there was major catastrophes, like the Telegram got hacked. And then, of course, one of the devs sold $13 million and dumped the, the, dumped the charts, right? Nice recovery, but that's not where you want to be. You want to make sure you're posting all the time, keeping the community engaged, and keeping those spaces going. Yeah, it's, it's important. Updating the community is very, very important. I want to segue now, Roddy, to the Portnoy token. Did you see this? Dave Portnoy. I did. Read it out. I'm a meme coin. And he just uh, took a screenshot of a token that launched on Solana. <laughs> I saw this when it launched at like a 200K mark cap to a million and now just because of dave, dave portnoy's tweet hashtag portnoy the toy the token in about an hour has ran up i think the all time high was around a 10 million dollar mark cap and ronnie this is not an ethereum token it is a solana token yeah and I, I mean how crazy is this meme coin space right now like literally all dave portnoy has to do is say i'm a meme coin and the token goes from zero dollars to 10 million plus dollars has over 17 million dollars in 24 hour trading volume in the last hour alone, last hour alone, 35,000 transactions on this token. How, how wild is this meme coin space? Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually had a bag of that. Now, obviously, he came out with a video how he sold his uh, he sold all of his Bitcoin for $20,000 because he freaked out. Should have held should have held the bag. Right. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, had some, uh, you know, of, of that actual Portnoy token. But yeah, I mean, this space is absolutely wild. And Jake, this is what we're talking about. Meme season, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, the top, you know, ecosystems that allow people to make these tokens that are people building, th that they're building on top of. They're leading the charge right now. The rest of the altcoins are not even catching up right now. I mean, they, they got a lot of room to grow. So it's meme season. And unlike, you know, 2021, where I feel like meme coins really started hitting their stride in 2021 near the end of the bull run, we had NFTs and other things pumping altcoins. I think meme coins are leading the charge this bull run. And I'm expecting a lot more of that Portnoy type S stuff, you know? Yeah, I just thought it was, uh, I just thought it was a funny ass thing. But like, this is the space that we live in. So the title of the show is yeah. how to find the next thousand X. Well, I mean, it's just really just being online on Twitter. Yeah. If you saw Dave Portnoy tweet, and like I said, he, and like Rodney said, I mean, you, you assume he might have some, but I don't think he does. I think he just saw it. And I thought he was, he probably thought it was funny. So he tweeted about it, but it's like, that's all it takes. If you saw him tweet about it, even if you got in a little bit after at a million dollar mark cap and you put in a hundred bucks or you put in a thousand bucks, you're up 10 X on your bags. You know, like you, you could have turned in. If you put a thousand bucks in when Dave Portnoy, you're just on Twitter. You saw Dave Portnoy tweet about it. You put a thousand bucks in. 
that could be worth 10k in a matter of minutes like this crypto space is wild and what i'm seeing though right now ronnie is that really every single token that's launching most tokens are hitting most tokens are hitting it doesn't matter what it is it's like yeah. there's so much liquidity there's so much bullishness in the crypto space that no matter it doesn't really matter about the utility at this point yeah. it's like people just want to put money in the tokens and get some sort of return and we're finding a lot of tokens that are launching on solana a lot of tokens that are launching on ethereum I mean, they don't even have to be bullish narratives. We see Peng. Peng is literally a Pepe frog as a penguin, and it just hit an all-time high around a $70 million mark cap today. Explain that to me, Rodney. It's wacky. It's, it's unexplainable, but this is why we're in this space. You know, Jake, we were talking about this earlier. How many people had that holier-than-thou mentality during the last bull run? If you even mentioned meme cones, coins, they were like, oh, but what about the utility? It's like, what? Who, Pepe on their website, Cock Inu on their website says, this is made for fun, no intrinsic value or expectation of return. That's okay. As long as the in the outcome is income, who cares? We're in the space for the pump. I'm in the space for technology, obviously a little bit. Obviously, Bitcoin, what it represents, freedom from you know fiat, freedom from our tyrannical government. But at the same time, man, I love the meme coin space. And Jake, it's so nice to see yep. people coming around and jumping on the meme coin train. I mean, everyone's talking about meme coins now, not just us. Yeah, and, and look, I, I'm happy because we were talking about this in 2020. 2021, yep. 2022, we've been talking about meme coins for a while because of just the, the attention. And I think why people are so excited about meme coins, right, is because you do have that chance to put a little bit of money in. And if you can hold for a little bit of time and you find the right project, you can literally change your life forever. You can quit your job. Some people can retire. You can pay off your debt. You can pay off your student loans. And that's what crypto is all about. You know, and in 2021, we saw a lot of people shaming people for selling and making them life changing gains. But let's, let's be honest, is crypto about investing in a project and holding on forever is crypto about investing in a good project having fun and making money i think really at the end of the day people want to make money and, and change their lives for the better and crypto is giving you opportunity to do so uh absolutely absolutely i mean at, at the end of the day why do we invest at all right to sit there and hodl to the ground you know no we, we invest to make money um and i know some of these stories seem silly about people becoming millionaires but we've seen it happen it's happened to a lot of people we know maybe it's happened to some of us you know i mean mean coin Silly dog tokens, you know what I mean? Uh, but this is the, the, the nature of, uh, of the space we're in right now, and it's so exciting. Um, Jake, when it comes to these meme coins, though, you know, uh, what we do see, unfortunately, especially in 2021, we've seen a lot of people hold the bag all the way to the ground. Uh, and you mentioned something about your personal problems, student loans, debts, those sorts of things. Uh, what, when do you get to a, a, a point where you think it's time to sell? What do you think? I mean, everybody's in a different financial situation right but it's like you put a hundred dollars into a token and it turns into twenty five thousand, and you got ten thousand in student debt and a mortgage and shit like that it's like yeah take some take some profits and pay off your bills right it just depends like there's certain tokens that i've invested in that have went up and i'm like is this is this actually the next narrative is this actually the next meta and i'll hold those bags longer but there's some tokens like portnoy where i'm like oh, is this going to keep going up and i might take some profits uh, on certain tokens like that but i think it just depends Rodney, on uh, everybody's financial situation i mean at the time right now, Ronnie, there's 850 people in here. Every single one of us has a different financial situation. Some people own no crypto. They're just trying to understand what it is. Some people own millions, probably tens of millions of dollars of crypto. There's probably some people in this stream right now that have hundreds of millions of dollars of crypto. And I'm not even joking. There, there definitely is some people that are listening right now, mega whales, because uh, I've had people DM me and, and, and they, you know, they've purchased massive amounts of tokens and turned it into large quantities through meme coins, really through meme coins. And they, and they got into crypto very, very early, but it just depends on your, your situation, you know, but meme coins really are uh, the meta right now. And in, in 2017, we saw the IPOs of a lot of different altcoins and, you know, tokens like Ethereum and all of these different altcoins went parabolic. 2021, we also saw altcoins, you know, launch and go parabolic. That's when we saw Solana and Avalanche and all these and Cardano and a lot of tokens uh, shoot up. We also saw NFTs in 2021. Right. 2024 is extreme different. I mean, incredibly Nuts. different. Because right now, all we're seeing is NFTs go down, down, down. I don't think one NFT is really in the green right now, and no one's launching NFT projects. We're not really seeing altcoins running. Right now, we're not seeing altcoins running, Roddy. We, we're seeing Ethereum, which is at $4,000, which I'm very, very happy about. We're seeing Solana just hit $160 per Solana token, which I'm very, very happy about because Solana was at $10 not too long ago. I think it was around November of 2022. We saw a ten dollars Solana token, and I was I was screaming. I felt like an idiot. I was, and I have all my tweets from Twitter where I was saying, "I'm buying more Solana here, forty dollars Solana. I'm buying more Solana here, thirty dollars Solana." Now it's at one hundred sixty dollars. I feel good about that. But I honestly think that the only reason we're seeing 
these layer one blockchain blockchains pumping is because people, normies, investors, are buying these tokens like Ethereum Solana for one reason. Not to hold them, but to reinvest them into meme coins. Yeah, absolutely, Jake. I mean, the reason why Solana made an insane comeback was, one, it got rid of that negative publicity with Almeida Research and Sam bankman fried But two, bonk. You got to yep. buy Solana to buy bonk. And when you cash out your bonk, you get Solana. So yeah, I mean, you're completely right, Jake. You know, it's an abnormal time for cryptocurrency, but these are abnormal times, right? Bitcoin hitting an all-time high before the halving. We're having Solana, Ethereum, even BNB, some other altcoins run that are people that people are building uh, meme coins off of. But now we have all these institutions in cryptocurrency through the form of Bitcoin. And like you said, I mean, I know Matt Ferry made an NFT collection, and I'm sure that'll do well, but NFTs really a little bit seem like a thing of the past. Not like a comeback, but definitely a thing um, of the past, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, Avalanche, right? Doing insane numbers because of Kak Inu. I mean, Jake, the only thing exciting about Cardano in recent memory, to me at least, I like Charles Hoskinson, he's a great guy, but it's Snake, right? It's a meme yep. coin. They have an energy drink, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, Cardano, it's a good token. It just hit 75 cents, which should be celebrated because Cardano was down quite a bit uh, for quite some time. But yeah, they, meme coins are exciting. I mean, people are, are really, and at least maybe it's just my feed. Maybe my, my Twitter algorithm is fucked because it's all meme coins. But it's like, and, but I, I'm basing it off like friends. I mean, how many friends have you had? I've had, I've had countless friends saying, because they see my content, they're like, yo, I want to invest in crypto. How do I do so? But they're not saying, Jake, how do I buy Solana? How do I buy Avalanche? How do I buy Cardano? How do I, how do I buy Polygon? They're saying, Jake, how do I buy the next ship? Jake, what is the next ship? Jake, how do I buy Pepe? Like they're not, they're not interested in the layer one blockchains, the layer two that are going to push cryptocurrency forward yet. They're interested in that hundred X thousand X returns, which I don't blame them. But Rodney, I do have a thesis and I want to run it by you. I want to run it by you real quick. Uh, run it, baby. I think that money. I think this this bull run is going to be different. I think that we're going to see meme coins pump like we're seeing. Whiff just hit a two point six billion dollar market cap, which is Wild. insane because Whiff was at a hundred million dollar market cap back in January of this year, was which was only two months ago. But I do believe that we're going to see money flow into these meme coins, and then eventually, maybe towards the end of this bull run, probably fourteen sixteen months, we're probably going to see more money flowing into the altcoins. I think altcoins will have a run. It's just not going to be early. It's just not going to be now, right? People are looking to invest in the projects that can make them that 1,000x, 100x return, which is the meme coins. And then afterwards, I think that they will put their money into top altcoins. Do you think this is true or do you think I'm a little bit off the mark? And guys, if you're in the comments, let us know in the comments below what you think. Let us know if you think that this meme coin board will be different. Let us know if you think that uh, meme coins will fly and then altcoins next. Or let, let us know if altcoins are kind of going to stay where they're at. Altcoins aren't going anywhere and it's strictly going to be a meme coin run. Uh, I think you're you're right on track, Jake. Let's, let's go back all the way to you know April of last year when Pepe started absolutely running. We had Pond, Mung, many other meme coins doing insane numbers, literally in the middle of a bear market. Then we get to ETF news. So naturally, Bitcoin's going to pump, but still altcoins not moving. Right. The most exciting thing was XRP winning their lawsuit, and then uh, Bond came along. And that really started the meme coin Solana trend. So Solana going absolutely crazy. And then we had the ETFs get approved. So Bitcoin's pumping now. We have meme coins pumping now. Solana meme coins. And then it all started, in my opinion, with the biggest ERC-20 token at the time, which was Pork, which sent a lot of Ethereum tokens. So we're seeing all these tokens run, meme coins run, and Bitcoin run because of the ETFs and obviously the hype around meme coins. But the altcoins are lagging. I do think that we're going to go ahead and make up the rest of this market cap size, right? I think the cryptocurrency market is going to hit about eight to ten trillion dollars uh, during this next bull run. Could be wrong, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but around there. And I think altcoins are going to follow suit. We're going to start seeing some money being recycled into those altcoins. And Jake, that Ethereum ETF is going to be a big, big deal. Do you think we get that approved? Your opinion? Do you think we get that approved? And do you think that's really going to send ERC twenty tokens? I mean, there's no doubt it gets approved, right? There's there's no doubt that an Ethereum ETF gets approved at some point. I think that they want to space it out a little bit. They want to space it out as long as they can because right now we just, I mean, crypto moves very quick. Keep in mind, Ryan, we just got the Bitcoin spot ETF. I think it was probably one month ago. Maybe not even a month ago. It was in January. I don't remember the date, but it's January March. March. Jan so two months ago. Two months ago, we got the Bitcoin spot ETF. It feels like two years ago. Uh, but best. yeah, I think, I, think, I think that there's a 100%, 100% chance to be an Ethereum ETF at some point, uh, possibly in 2024, we shall see. And yes, I think that Ethereum will fly similar to how Bitcoin flew. Uh, I think it's inevitable. Let's take a look at this. You mentioned Matt Fury. Pinned on the Jumbotron, ladies and gentlemen, is four tokens and four pictures, four images, four logos, four artworks that Matt Fury created. 
we have an, in alphabetical order. I guess not. So we had Pepe launch, right? <laughs> Pepe on ETH launched, uh, which we all know Pepe's story. Brett on base, Rodney, ran all the way up to a $400 million mark cap on wow. base. Incredible. We had Wolf on Avalanche, which I think ran close to $100 million. And now we have Andy on Soul. I like it. I think it's a good narrative. I think it's going to fit in the crypto space. I actually own all four. Uh, and I just look, I mean, look, look at that image. It just works, right? It's just, it's mule. It works. And all projects so far are having a lot of success. Yeah, you know, when it comes to like the title of this space, how to find the next hundred x uh, thousand x meme coin, Matt Fury meme coins are the meta right now, and I'm even a, a, a couple. First of all, Andy's great. You know, Pepe did great numbers. Brett on base, insane. Um, and then we have a uh, Wolf did, doing insane numbers. And there's even some, one called Fadi, which is Pepe's girlfriend that Matt Fury created. There's another one called Dogger Snout. That's Pepe's arch enemy, dogs, that he created. So anything Matt Fury creates, people are making meme coins off of them, and they're doing really well in the space. So that is part of the meta, Jake, and that's part of finding the next thousand X meme coin is finding what the hell the meta is. And Matt Fury, man, I mean, it makes sense. He's the, the original meme guy. He created the whole boys club in 2005, three years before crypto became a thing, started off in 4chan. That is like the old school meme vibe, and uh, it fits perfectly for meme coins. Absolutely. In other cryptocurrency news, we will talk about dog with hat flipping Loki. I don't know if people understand how crazy it is. Crazy. And I know it flipped it before, but it, it reflipped today. Dog with hat running was a hundred million dollar market cap token two months ago, and now it's at two point six five billion dollar market cap, which is absolutely insane numbers. Congrats to everybody that's in with, and I really think that with really embodies what memes are all about. Right? It's not trying to be anything. It's not, and I think it. <laughs> I think it flipped Bonk for a reason. I know we just said Floki, but it also flipped Bonk. I think it flipped Bonk for one reason. Bonk is a token that was given as a free airdrop. And Bonk is, it is a meme coin, right? I mean, it has a memeable character, but it's its not really in its essence a true meme coin, right? It's not, it, it is a meme. It's, it's a dog, right? I too much it. use case. <laughs> too much <laughs> use case for people to fucking love it. What do meme coin investors want, Ronnie? They want a fucking a dog logo, a dog that will pump their bags. What is with? Go to their website. They go, we are literally just a dog with a hat, nothing more and nothing less. But how about the run for with two months, 2.6 billy? Well, to be fair, you know, Shiba Inu number two meme coin has like a shit ton of utility. So th that is utility. But I think that, you know, Shiba Inu gets a pass for being uh, here from 2021. But dude, if you look at, uh, you know, um, first of all, Floki, the old school 2021 meme looking good right there. It's great. But it just goes to show you the power of Solana meme tokens and the, and, and the fact that nobody cares if the, about utility. They really don't. They really don't. You know, so many people are, are tired of the whole, oh, what's the use case? Because the truth is, Jake, how many of these tokens... Or a swap, staking, NFTs, you know, or something like that. Like the same old, same old, um, you know, uh, it, no, no nuance to it. I understand if you're making a swap or something like that that has some sort of nuance, some sort of like difference than the, the other thing that's in the space. But a lot of these guys are just copycat. And I'd rather a meme coin be up front with me and say, hey, this is just a meme coin. It's a dog with a hat. You buy it, buy it. If you don't want to buy it, whatever. <laughs> then a bunch of developers promising me the world, giving me this huge white paper, giving me, the, giving me this long roadmap that they never, ever fulfill. Absolutely, 100%. I agree. It's a dog with a hat. That's why people like it. It's easy. It's It's got a good community. It's a dog with a yeah. hat, and the vipers stay on. The hats stay on as well. Now, Roddy, there's a new token here. I see them in here. A lot of the communities in here as well. It's Reddit. Now, this is a token Reddit. that launched I think it was on February 28th. Now, People always ask me, Jake, what is the next thousand X meme coin? Look, I have no idea. I, I look, I give you tokens, and I, I always say this too: never buy anything that I talk about. Don't buy any. Like, I, I'm not a, I'm not a financial advisor at all. Don't. I, I wait, talk about wait, things wait, that wait. I think. What, what market did you call Zen token on? Zen token was like 700k around oh, a million. What, what is that now? It, I don't. I haven't checked. It, it ran up to like 150 million. Oh, okay. So you called that one. I mean, I'm buying that one, baby. That one was a good one. 150x. Trump as well. I, I called Trump at a 10 million and it ran up to a 500 million quick 50x. Woo! Uh, but I'm just looking at metas and I look, like I said, this token could go up. It could go down. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm looking at the narratives. I'm looking at the crypto space. There's a token called Reddit. Guess what? A huge catalyst is coming on March 21st, which is the Reddit IPO. It's already valued at a $6.7 billion valuation. Reddit is a is a company that pretty much everyone, I would imagine, every single person, all 750 people that are in this stream know exactly what Reddit is, right? It's a, it's a search forum uh, that 
I like it because I use it. I, I, I used it recently. I just got a tattoo and I said, hey, how long should I wait to go in the sauna after getting a tattoo? What's the first thing that pops up? Reddit forum. And there's a bunch of people on there saying, hey, you know, you should wait two weeks. I waited two weeks, you know, wait two weeks, three weeks, whatever it was. I got it three days ago. I went in the sauna anyways against the Reddit consensus. Sorry, Reddit. But the IPO is going live, Rodney, on March 21st. A ton of eyeballs. It's probably going to be the biggest social media IPO that we've ever seen besides, what was it, Meta? I think Meta had a huge, huge IPO. Pinterest was the last one five years ago. And a Reddit token launches. And for me personally, as a 28-year-old male living here in America, am I more likely to put my money into uh, Robinhood or some of these other uh, trading platforms to buy the actual Reddit IPO, the actual Reddit stock, or do I want to buy something more decentralized? Well, for me, I started as soon as I saw the news of the Reddit IPO, I looked on the decentralized side and I found I found like ten different Reddit coins. I looked through them all, I vetted them, and I found that this one was the safest contract, uh, the best contract, the most realistic one. Like a lot of them were previous. Uh, tokens and they just switched the branding over to Reddit. This is a new token, new contract, good amount of holders, good volume, uh, and a strong, passionate community. So I like this token, Rodney. I think it's going to be big. And yeah, like I said, like we've seen other projects, right? Like when Dumb Money came out, the movie on Netflix about GameStop, we saw the GME token launch on Solana. Rodney, I saw that like a $2 million market cap. It ran all the way to a $90 million market cap. Wow. Now we're looking at a Reddit token, Reddit coin, excuse me. Around a $10 million market cap, about, what are we, eight days away from the IPO? I, I, I really do believe, like I said, don't buy anything because I talk about it. Don't buy anything because Roddy talks about it. But I do believe this coin could have some serious <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, it's about narratives in the meme coin space, right? We follow narratives, you know, and we're not tribal with it. You know, we see something, we treat all meme coins the same. We see a narrative, we see something that really sticks out, we're going to follow it. And yeah, it's, it could be a huge like, kind of hype event, right? Days before the IPO, you know, maybe a week before the IPO, this thing could go absolutely parabolic, and that's what we're here. And what I like, what I like about Reddit is that it's an old school internet meme, just like Pepe and 4chan, right? It's old school internet kind of vibe. And that's what kind of crypto, Dogecoin, like all these old school memes in crypto are kind of about. And that's why I do like uh, uh, Reddit. Like you said, I mean, I, I was looking, I, I bought a skateboard bindings and they're, the, the gap on them, I mean, excuse me, uh, snowboard bindings and the gap in them is ridiculous. So I was on Reddit earlier before this freaking show uh, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the narrative, you know, people, everyone knows Reddit. It's the, uh, you know, the, everyone knows the brand. Um, yeah. and the fact that they have a hard date on something, you know, could give it a uh, nice little catalyst. Yeah. It reminds me of Zdin, you know, like Zdins are <laughs> only people in America <laughs> really use them though. Like, yes, yeah, people, they're not in Europe. They're not, they're not in, you know, other places of, of the world, but I saw Zin on my deck tools at a million dollar mark cap. And I was like, wait, I just, I was in Italy at the time. I traveled to Italy to visit my girlfriend and I brought with me, I kid you not, 30 cans of Zins because I knew that <laughs> they weren't available. They, they're not available yeah. in Europe. Yeah. So I, I'm sitting there. I had a, it was, it was later because, you know, Europe's eight hours ahead, right? So it was like 1130 at night. I go on Dextools. I'm, I'm a little buzzed riding. Right? I can't lie. And uh, I, looked, oh, no, I saw the video. I know you were buzzed. As I'm, as I'm looking on Dextools, I look to my left. I see my suitcase. It's open. I see 30 cans of Zins. And I think I go, well, if I love them, and Rodney, who I talk to every day, every time I talk to you, what do you do? You throw, you have a Zin in, right? You got a six million 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 screen, screen, baby, upper deck. Rodney, do you, do you have a Zin in right now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> me too, me too. And I go, and I go, well, I've been seeing people on crypto Twitter talk about Zin. I, I see the Nelk boys just gave Tucker Carlson the world's biggest Zin. I'm like, this has the potential to be huge. I bought a little bag at a, around a million, million dollar market. I forgot about it, honestly. And I looked at it one time. It didn't move for like, for like a month. And I was like, should I just fucking sell it? I held on to it, Rodney. This thing pumped to a hundred plus, maybe even $150 million market cap. And the reason why is, is culture, you know, like culture, something that people can get behind. That's why Reddit, I believe is going to be big. That's why GME was a layup. Uh, Polly and Pork is building a nice culture. All these 4chan memes, culture. The Matt Fury memes, culture. Stuff that people can get behind. Well-known images, well-known memes, I think are going to play very, very well here in 2024. Absolutely huge narratives, like the Matt Fury narrative, obviously the old school meme narrative, Reddit, Zins. Everybody knows Zin. It's the brand ability. And let me tell you something. You know, the cult-like community with Pork, it, as, soon, as soon as Polly mentions that he's launching anything else, I'm aping the entire freaking... I'm making everything into it because I think that's absolutely uh, important in this space. Narratives, um, community, and uh, just brandability, you know? Is that absolutely. Snake up there? Is that Snake? That is Snake because I'm looking at Snake. They just hit $163 million market cap, which I believe is an all-time 
Hi. Let's go, baby. The Cardano meme coin snack. So congratulations to the snack community. I know I have a lot of people in uh, the stream that follow me that support snack. I like snack. I got in. I think I got in in, in May or, or, or June of 2023 because it, it went parabolic once. Uh, but they've just been doing good things. Like I said, guys, just do your, do your own research. Just look at snack. Look at what the team's been building. Look at the competitions that they run. Look at the use cases that they've already delivered. Look how strong the community is. Look at them being the first mover on the Cardano blockchain. For me personally, Ronnie, it's hard not to be bullish on a token like snack. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Jake. And I'm not even in the Cardano ecosystem. I watch it. I have some actual Cardano coin, but I'm not in the Cardano ecosystem. And when Snake came uh, you know, out of nowhere, it's, it was the most exciting thing to happen to the Cardano chain. I mean, it just is, right? They're, they're meme coins, and that's the nature of our space. You know, That's why Solana sent. And I mean, the team is so based. The community is absolutely insane. I made a video because, look it, we cover all meme coins regardless of whatever they're on. We cover meme coins just because they're doing well. They have good communities. And Snake was doing some absolute crazy numbers. And the team actually sent me two cases of their Snake energy drink on the house with Jake. It's pretty delicious. I know you don't like energy drinks. or, or do, you, do you like Celsius, right? Celsius, yeah, they, they they offered too. I just I don't know. I don't like to send out my address. Uh, yeah. The guys are from California, but the guys are from California. Yeah, they're from California. Yeah, they're 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 uh, they're di wherever they send their snake energy is from California. So, what if I'm the snake developer because I'm oh, from California? Well, you better put two and two together there. No, yeah. no, but no, they offered, and uh, actually, I bought a case though, and it was good. Uh, and I, I want to support the ecosystem. It's like people that stream UFC fights. I'm like, you like UFC? Yeah. Do you support the UFC? I yeah. Do you want the UFC to be around forever? Yeah. So why the fuck are you streaming it? Support it. It's 80 bucks, man. You got, I understand you got $10 million in crypto and $80 USD. Sounds like a lot, but you just gambled 0.5 ETH on a shit coin and uh, you lost it all. It's like pay for the UFC. But what I want to say is congrats to Snack on reaching an all time high, 165 million. It seems like everything, Rodney, everything that is, is on the markets right now is absolutely stunning. We're seeing all time high after all time high after all time high. And we recently saw Punky. Punky. The monkey meme on Solana just oh broke my. an all-time high of around 66 million market cap. Yeah, first off, shout out to the Ponky community. Absolutely based, like, really, like, pleb, straight, just absolutely, like, autistic. That's what they call themselves, okay? Community. And this this is what it's a, it's a monkey that drinks coffee all day, has a helmet on, is, and is looking at charts. And I love that community. I love how, like, aggressive they are, how everyone wears the helmet, how everyone shills and caps. Like, I love the Ponky army. And let me tell you, like, like we mentioned before, cults, strong communities like that, that get out there, shield their bag, harass influencers, those ones are the ones that do the best in this space. And Poke Army is absolutely insane. They're smashing their all-time highs, Jake. 100 million, in my opinion, is easy for these guys. It's pretty much inevitable. You know, I think yeah. a lot of these tokens that we see. And, and here's the thing, Ronnie. We talked about this back in 2023. And I told you, I go, look. I'm not really buying meme coins right now. I bought a lot of meme coins in 2023 uh, when Pepe launched. I bought Mong. I bought a I bought a bunch of shit coins. A lot of them failed. And I realized I go, we're not in the meme coin season yet. I go, Rodney, you will know when we're in the meme coin season when you can literally on a sticker on a on a post it note write ten meme coins, stick them up to the wall, close your eyes, throw a dart at it, throw ten darts at it, and whatever you hit, you buy, and they're all going to ten x. And that's exactly where we're at right now. Yeah, if you're not making money during this time, I don't know what's go. I don't know what's wrong. I mean, don't don't get frustrated because some people are probably losing in this chat. But there, pretty much every token that is launching right now is having massive success. It doesn't really need a narrative. It just needs to be a, a cool logo with a good a good dev is important, right? Because yeah. they have to run the Twitter account, they have to stay active. But a good logo on a nice website will do you justice. I mean, this is the time, guys, where you can really. For me personally, I don't tell anybody else to do, but I'm aping a lot of things that I see, and most are going up. Some are getting rugged. I've gotten rugged a lot. I don't want to make it sound like everything's perfect. I've gotten rugged a lot in the past couple of days, more than more than you can imagine. <laughs> I have, but I've also had a lot of winners, and the winners replace the bad feelings that happens when you get rug pulled. Absolutely, guys, and don't get down. Don't get down on your luck just because you're not winning. I know we talk about our wins a lot. Not a lot of people want to share the rug pulls they've been involved with, but I also shared up there, Jake. Cock Inu, real quick, I want to touch on Cock real quick, because it is a top seven meme coin right now, standing alone on the Avalanche chain, and this is making me look at Avalanche, uh, Avalanche, Avalanche for potential new meme coins, and I'm looking to see what the next sender is, how about Cock, literally on their website, Jake, this, this is the last time I'm fading any Cock, okay, but you look on their website, it usually, it, it literally says, just like Pepe, it's just here for fun, no intrinsic value, and I like that about uh, Cock Inu. Um, so I'm looking for more Avalanche meme coins. Do you think we're going to see some senders on the Avalanche chain? I think a lot are coming. 
Yeah, I think this is how it all starts, right? It's like you get one sender like this, and I think Cardano's doing it. Uh, I think Kulo, i got to give credit to Kulo. Kulo's at a $40-plus oh, yeah. million dollar on the Polygon blockchain. Nuts. I think I think Cock is for sure doing it because, look, people are investing in Cock. They have, it's at a $400 million market cap. I started making videos around a $75 million market cap uh, for Cock. I have a video, and because I remember I made a video, and I'm like, hey, Cock just reclaimed a $100 million market cap. But what happens is, Rodney, is, and this is what happened with Bonk, this is what happened with Whiff, this is what happened with Myro, all these tokens on Solana, is like, when, whenever you have one meme coin run on this chain, more people start to talk about it, more people start to do their research on it, more people start to understand how to buy tokens on these chains, and also, these people are making life-changing money on cock, right? Whoever, who would have thought that you could make life-changing money with, with some cock in your life? But people are making life-changing money on cock, and what are they going to do next? They're going to put more money into the different meme coins and altcoins, excuse me, Different, they're going to put their money into more meme coins on these different chains. Yeah, absolutely. And you see people that are developing meme coins say, hey, maybe we should try our luck over there on the Avalanche Network, which could make some insane uh, bangers. Uh, so shout out to the COG community. Shout out to... <laughs> so, you know what, Jake? Somebody came into one of our meme coin shill and chill spaces and shilled cock to me at $7 million. I regret not buying every single day. So Just spray and pray, brother. I'm, t I'm telling you, baby. I think you I think you put up another post there that says SHIB is going to be the number one meme coin, beating out Big Daddy Dogecoin, Jake. Say it isn't so. Do you really think SHIB can flip Doge? If I had to bet my money, Rodney, if I had to bet my entire U.S. dollar net worth, which is very little, <laughs> I own very little U.S. dollar, I think, it's I think it's less than 100 bucks. Did you factor in inflation? I, I did not, sorry. And I, did I did not factor in inflation for that dollar. But if I had to bet... My net worth, I would, I would say, and I've been wrong before, but I would say that we will see Shiba Inu flip Dogecoin in 2024. I think it will be the top meme coin he heading into 2025 for a couple of reasons. Look, they have a built-out utility. They have a ton of different utilities, which I think it's not important for these newer tokens, but for a token like Shiba Inu, that's not, they're not trying to be a meme coin. Like they're trying to be a legit project, which they are. They're a top 10 project in the world. They're trying to be a legit project. They already have an existing community. And people right now, when they're holding their SHIB, I don't know if people are necessarily buying more. I think a lot of whales are because they see a lot of value, but people are still holding shit. People are still rooting for the project. People still hope it does well. Dogecoin, I feel like is it's on this last leg. You know, what was Dogecoin's real utility? Well, they have no utility. What was the real utility? Well, they were the first meme coin that ever launched. And they had a guy, I don't know if you know him. His name was Elon Musk. His name is Elon Musk. Now he was a huge Dogecoin supporter. I'm still he's, I'm I'm sure he still holds a massive bag of Dogecoin, but we're starting to see him kind of move into the Pepe ecosystem, Ronnie. Are you noticing that? He's starting to tweet more about Pepe and frogs, and, and I think he's posted two Pepe yeah. memes in the past couple of days, which is incredibly bullish, but if Elon Musk, mark my words, everybody in this space, there's 600 people in here, if Elon Musk does not enable Dogecoin payments on X, we will see Shiba Inu flip Dogecoin in 2024. Yeah, that's a great point, Jake. We have seen the thing about Elon Musk is that he's a he's a, a, not a, a, not a real ordinary uh, CEO. He's really in tune with the me, with the meme coin space, the meme world. He plays a bunch of online games that are really you know part of the Reddit's you know four uh, chan communities, and he's posting memes like just because they're funny. And I mean, these memes have uh, you know hit insane market cap sizes. Like Milady's Ladies Token hit some insane market cap sizes, and I think that's actually hitting an all time high today. So yeah, but you know, I do think that Shiba Inu will be the number one meme coin because of the fact that the team is you know making so much uh, out of it right so much use case nfts a game uh, you know their layer two and so on and so forth and i really do think jake e and look, elon musk has has the power if he does something where he makes it so you can transact with bitcoin on x or you know whatever bullish tweet about uh dogecoin dogecoin will absolutely send and that could be like the way they separate between the two but if all things stay the same i think we have an erc20 token at the top of the list for the top meme coin for sure Absolutely. And Ronnie, one of the uh, final things to talk about here on the stream is MVP. So look, I like political tokens. I call Trump at a $10 million mark cap. It ran up to $500 million. I just, I don't see the political finance sector going anywhere, right? We even saw CoinGecko added as a, a category. Meme coins, DeFi, gaming, uh, metaverse. And now they've added political finance. Trump, I think, will always be the top dog. We saw Budin and Trump pump. But MVP is a token that launched to support the Trump token. It launched by a Trump whale. It has a bunch of Trump whales supporting it, which is why the floor is held at a $10 million markup. And now they have started to build, Roddy, three centralized exchange listings, which are not cheap. Three centralized exchange listings. Two bit, Bitmark, and Bitconomy all in one week. Back to back to back to wow. back. And 
They're available, which I love. They're available on three chains. So not only Ethereum, because the gas fees are high, not only BNB, but also on the Solana blockchain. Three exchanges and three chains. How bullish is that for MVP? Absolutely bullish, super low market cap. And what I like about this project is that, you know, success leaves, leaves clues. And look, I want someone... I want someone in a project that had a, that was in a successful project before. And the truth is, Jake, Trump hit a half a bi- half a billion, you know, 0.5 billion, you know, of a billion market cap size, which is absolutely insane for an ERC twenty token uh, right now. A, a new one like that. Um, so that's insane. Those are numbers you can't deny. And the fact that those guys are involved with this one, and the fact that they're, yeah, I mean, we, Jake, how much are those? How expensive are those exchanges? They're they're insane. You know, you're paying. You're paying out of pocket. Those are not free listings. You know what I mean? So the fact that they're putting all that work into this new token, I think is absolutely bullish. And Jake, what's really going to send this thing, in my opinion, is when we finally get a VP candidate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Finally put a face on that token, and I think it'll absolutely send. DeFi summer will be wild. Ooh, I like that. It will. If people think that we've seen anything in Ming Point March, wait for DeFi summer, guys. This is just the beginning, really. I mean, we have never in our history seen a Bitcoin all-time high. Before the Bitcoin having, we're about 35 days away. <clears throat> and if you look at the price of Bitcoin all time high after the Bitcoin having it's it's typically 10 to 20 X of what the price was. Now, I don't think we'll get there because obviously the market caps are much bigger. But I, I, I personally do believe that we will see a Bitcoin probably above 200,000. And honestly, I, I feel like that's conservative. I really do. I mean, we're at what, $73,000 before the Bitcoin having People are just getting into cryptocurrency. I mean, I, I'm starting to have more and more friends, but they're learning how to use DeFi. It's like the mainstream has not even come right. We haven't seen Coinbase as the number one finance app on the App Store. I really do believe that DeFi summer will be incredible. I think that we're going to pump all the way through summer. And we might have some pullbacks, but I think that all the way until the summer of 2025, we're going to have a very, very exciting bull run. Yeah, it's a beautiful time in the cryptocurrency space, Jake. And I know we're, we're a lot of meme coin guys, but we love Bitcoin because we understand what Bitcoin represents. And a lot of us in this space, most of us in this space are in crypto because we like, you know, we like privacy. It's a big F you to the government. And that's what Bitcoin represents. And look at it's finite. You can't make more of it. it, it the, the, la- the last having is a 2140. It's, you cannot mine it anymore after that. So it's, it's, a, it's a scarce resource. And everyone's finally starting to come around to it. Even BlackRock getting it for the first time this year. When they called it a Ponzi scheme, play some l- launder money in 2017, everyone is coming around. And guys, what that means is that more eyes are going to be on Bitcoin, more eyes are going to be on Ethereum, more liquidity is going to be in the market. And that's going to make for a ton of new plays and more meme coin madness for us. So, Jake, I think we're just getting started. I know a lot of people think that a $200,000 Bitcoin, $250,000, $300,000 Bitcoin is insane. But, Jake, if you would have told me Bitcoin would be at $73,000 a month before the halving, I, I, I wouldn't believe you. So, anything's possible. Me as well. And, guys, before we wrap this up, I want to let everybody know about a giveaway. I am personally running one Ethereum. I'm giving, I'm giving away one Ethereum pin to the Jumbotron. All you have to do is retweet that tweet. And then subscribe to my new YouTube channel. It's the top comment, guys. I launched a new YouTube channel, putting some good content out there, just doing a little bit differently. People are saying, Jake, you have 60,000 subscribers on YouTube. Why do you want to start all over? How long did it take? It took me three years to get there, but I wanted to start all over, guys, to create a new YouTube channel with different content. But I'm giving away one ETH right at the time of posting that on March 5th. ETH was 3,500. Now it's 4K. I'm just hoping we hit that 2,500 subscriber mark so I'm not paying $4,500 or $5,000 <laughs> for this giveaway. But guys, if you want to enter, go ahead and do it. It's free Ethereum. I'm giving away 0.25 ETH directly to four different people that enter. And Roddy, what a stream today. I mean, to wrap it up, as soon as we started, Polio X comes on. 1,000 people followed him into this stream. We had over 500 to 600 people the entire stream. Wow. Meme coins are pumping, guys. If you are joining us, me and Ronnie do this every single day, twice a day. We do it at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Ronnie's channel, and then every day on my channel, Monday through Friday at the same time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. Ronnie, it's uh, 8 p.m. on the East Coast. It's time to wrap it up. Your final message to everybody that tuned in today. Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all the new followers. Appreciate the port community and all the people that come up and show up and show out every single day, guys. We're just getting started, guys. Make sure you're staying tuned in tune with the market. Make sure you're following me, following Jake, following all the fav- your favorite people in the space. Stay on the charts. Cryptocurrency is 24-7, and you got to be vigilant. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you guys. We will be back tomorrow for another episode. Ronnie, we got to come up with a name for our show. I want to another Polly. space, another Twitter space. We love you guys. Thank you all for the all support. Right. Shout out to Polly. We'll see you soon. Peace.